Hi guys, uh, this is a tutorial on how to make an ALU on Minecraft using redstone. Okay, so you need three things, or well, don't really need them, you can make it legit, but I recommend you have MC edit, world edit, or single player commands, or world edit with a bucket server. Will also do, I'm guessing. And creative mode. Oh, and some basic knowledge in redstone and an adder design. So basically you need an adder thing from you know Minecraft wiki or Minecraft.com you can find some schematics, big ones, small ones, thin ones, fat ones, compacts, insanely huge, yeah whatever. So So I already have these three adders here, ready for the tutorial, because I'm not going to go through the painstaking process of building one of these. By the way, a quick tip to make these into subtractors, oh you also need knowledge in binary by the way, is you add inverters here. And you add inverters here. That'll make them to subtract us. Just so you know, so you can have another LU function. Like that. Okay. So, okay. Now you understand that. So, that's how you make a subtractor out of an adder. It's a bit off topic. Really, I know about. Now I usually go with this design, a stacked LU. I almost always make them stacked LUs. Basically means they're on top of each other. I'm gonna try and make this as simple to understand as possible. Usually I make these things much more compact, but then they're not understandable. So I'm trying my best to not go with the urge of making this more compact because currently I'm like oh, you should have done that, you should have done that, why didn't you put that there instead? It would have been so much smaller. Yeah. So I had an extra block for in case I run out of space. I usually don't do that but it'd be embarrassing in the tutorial if that happened. Um Okay, spiral staircase. Just do what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll explain just now. You usually make these things seriously high to all the functions you have, but I'm just doing a 3 bit basic LU. So, slash, so can't. Wait, this isn't gonna work, is it? No. Okay, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna make it very slow. Don't recommend it in large product projects. One of these. What I actually recommend you do when building an ALU is you build one bit first. So say this little bit. And then you copy and paste, 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 paste until you have the desired amounts. When you have adders, by the way, you have to link these little wires to that other little wire. It's usually two wire spaces. I removed one for compactness. Sorry, it's just this urge. Okay, so let's just do an adder. Once again, this could be much more compact. This is the basic adder you'd see in the wiki. Surely you know what that is, an adder. Make another one of these things. Now 
actually mode selectors for later. Also, I usually use spiral staircases here. I might show you my real label you just now for ideas for what functions you could give it. That repeater is not necessary, but that's just to show you that that's the output. So, well, the bit's not done yet. To clarify things, now I'm not going to delete the last floor. You know, usually you build this one floor, one thing which you get a time. This thing here is an AND gate that decides whether to use this output or not. I'll explain that later, just in more detail. Mm. So once you're done with one bit, you copy and paste it. But I'm not going to do that yet. Because I forgot I needed to do something here. Then now I can copy it. Always a thing with pasting. I always forget some piece, whether it's one block or a whole section. Really? Then you'd run this wire across. Place torches there. You have a little thing object that looks like this. It's just a beginner's version. Forgot spaces in between. Eh well. There. I usually attach these to binary decoders. So you can access them with a computer, but you don't have to, you can have switches or buttons, does the same thing. So I'm gonna, because we only have two modes, do this kind of thing. Peters, make sure all the wires reach. We're almost done with the LU, by the way. And there we go. That's a two function LU. Ableworth. And, and. Well, adding. You could possibly add much more functions. I'll just add these. So, let's make this a tad easier to use. And there we go. All I really did was just wire these things correctly, by the way. Just look at this wiring system for if you're confused on how this works. This is number one, and this is number two. 
Number one is the left of every bit. And then number two is the right one. Okay, so and is actually quite a useless function. I should have done subtract, which I showed you earlier. Or how it works. But it's done already. Oh wait, forgot one thing. Test if all the wires are working. Always an important test. Be quite quick. Just working. Yep. Output. There. Okay, so currently it's adding. Switching this. Just look. This is and output. It's one, but it's not going through. The add output is whatever it is, and that is going through. For some reason in reverse, but oh right, no, never mind. It's going through properly. This is the and output. So the pulse. Now, if I pull this, that's the add to output. So let's do one and one. We now want add, so that the answer is two. But if we go into and, it's one, because one and one is one. Even if you switch this, it's still doing the sum, but it's not going through the system. Only this one is. And that is what an ALU is, really. It's just that. So I'm going to show you how my ALU usually looks like. I don't know which way it's facing, so... There it is. So yeah, a professional LU looks like this. Ah man, this part didn't copy off. Just pretend this orange stuff is not here, it's not even important. It's supposed to wire it back to whatever's here. So here are the inputs, once it loads the inputs. Oh really? I want it to be dry. So, you gonna load yet? Ah, uh, recording lag. It's there, the blocks are there, but they're not there. Okay, so this is where the decoder usually is. My Elios has this feature. Oh. Which allows it to invert the answer using an XOR. So you pull this, the answer is inverted. It's handy for some sums. So yeah, here are the inputs. Actually, I'm not going to do this with everyone. I'll just do three, because this is ten bits. So, let's do three and one. So I'll just show you all the testing piece. You know that? Um this is add. You can see that adder the AND gate but just simpler, more compact and smaller. This is the subtractor. Right. Did I skip one? You have the XR here. I know it's a stupid design, but it fits so it doesn't matter and it's pretty fast and this is... what's this again? carry of course now uh, carrying is actually quite hard to explain it's actually pretty easy to explain but in there it's not basically 
it looks like that. So anything gets shifted to one side. It's actually called shift, I forgot. So, if I say... Now, depending on which input you use, it's going to shift that direction. So, when in this input, and we shift, which is on this floor, it should either equal 0 or 2. It shifted it to the right. If we did that, 1100 zero, zero, should be 0011. Zero, zero, one, one. No, 011, zero, one, one, sorry. Yeah. Also, to prove it's inverting works, 1011111. Zero, zero, one, 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 one. One, 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 one. So, usually this is up to a decoder and this not. Um, okay. Let's see what else can I think do. Implus and or to save space I actually did and and or on the same floor. Looks pretty confusing, but it's awesome. And this is implus. A pretty useless function really. I just have them because people are like, no, your computer doesn't have that many functions, it must suck. And they're like, why doesn't yours have implus? Oh, uh, mine has implus. I'm like, what does he even use it for? So I decided to add it anyways. I'm like, ah, in your face, I do now. Mm. Add. Should be add. So. Subtract. Zero. Am I even doing subtract or is subtractive not working? Oh yeah, this is the version where I forgot to put all the repeaters. Next two. As well. Some okay, so you get the point. There's lots and lots of floors of lots of lots of wires. Lots of lots of things. And exhaust at the end, and then this orange thing, which I told you to ignore. So that's basically what an ALU is. Arithmetic logic unit, which is capable of doing multiple types of sums. The sum of your choice. You can choose whatever you want. Okay, so I hope you learned something. Hope you can uh, make a computer with this. If you do, I'll be happy to see it. So you can uh, PM me a link. Thanks for watching.